me out, that's right. This is me and I gotta go into world three dash three. Hooray! Island of Peril. Ooh, we're going this way today. That's fun. Going different ways. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. What stuff can I talk about today? I'm trying to master out a good angle of how to record this DS, and I think just recording it from far away is a very good idea. I want to get all the stuff on the screen. I think the 3DS, if you want to like play a regular DS game like this, it's easier to get on the camera. Because the 3DS games are pretty hard to get on camera. Because of all the stuff on the screen and stuff. I'm sure the bottom of the screen's okay, but I like trying to get all the stuff on the top screen where all the action is. It looks funny on camera. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, what to talk about? How much to talk about today? Wait, so. Uh, I'm back at school, so that's not fun. Uh, oh, this vacation went by so fast, man. It was just like. The week just went really fast. Do you ever notice that, like, when you get older, weeks go by so fast now? Like, when you get older, like, if you're a junior in high school or something like that? The weeks just go by so fast. I don't get how that happens. So, today is Tuesday. It's trash day over here. Trash day. Trash day is when they have to take out the bins for the garbage truck. My day is Tuesday, because the trash guy comes on Wednesday. They always come in the morning, because everything's in the morning, you know. Nothing's ever in the afternoon, nothing's ever at night. I mean, they're at night, but it's at night, night where it's like freaking five degrees outside. You know, in summer, it's always like nice and nice and averagely warm. Still hot, but not freezing cold. And they don't have anything at night, they just have everything in the morning. When you actually want to sleep in, man. It's not fun. It's also not fun when your dogs bark and everything, but that happens a lot anyways. I don't know where I'm going. What the heck? Explosions for the win. Am I supposed to destroy all these? No, am I supposed to? I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Uh, okay. I don't know what that did. What? What? This is raining in here? Why is it raining? I don't get it. Why is it raining? Did I make this island rain? Being tiny like that, I was saying, what's the Bible? I don't know! I just knocked out some piranha plants and all of a sudden, it just started raining out of nowhere! I don't know what's going on! What the- What? I don't know what this is! I think it might have magically just turned into vine land or something, and now there's crocodiles everywhere? I don't know what this is, what's this about? What did I do? Did I activate something? Do I get bonus points for doing that? Making it rain? And not that kind of making it rain, because making it rain that kind of way is gross. Even though it does get you money. I mean, I'm not joshing anybody for me. It's being the, those kinds of people. Pe strippers or something. I mean, it really gives you good money. It's good, simple money. You just take off your shirt and show off your lady parts and... Guys just freaking throw money at you. It's like it's some boy's job ever to get some get hundreds of dollars really, really quickly. That's in doing drugs and no not doing drugs, selling drugs. Selling drugs to drug addicts gets you money fast. Because you know, people get addicted to it so fast and they paid anything to get you back and you can just you can charge them X amount of money, and then they'll just give it to you in buttloads. And you'll just sell the stuff, and you get money. I know it's inhumane, but still, people do anything for the sake of money. I know greed would. I know greed would. 
Here I go, rambling about greed again from Full Metal. Good lord. I'm not really a fan girl, I just take notice of men w in anime when they are sexy and badass. Is that anything wrong? I mean, I don't even have a guy yet. What do you expect? All these guys in real life I know now are very immature and stuff. We did all this climbing for a flower? What the hell? That is not fun. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? That was the most pointless thing ever. <sighs> what the? Uh, okay. Wait. Wait! What the heck? Why is it nighttime? I don't get it. How did I change the weather from raining to nighttime? I don't know what's going on. Is this some sort of fantasy island with shy guys as pirates? Did I suddenly enter Pirates of the Caribbean land where it's like daytime and then it suddenly turns to nighttime? And then you're fighting off evil pirates and evil monster pirates and stuff? Is this what it's looking like right now? Hmm. Okay, that's it, boy, Bill. You're gonna die. Oh, come on. I didn't kill you. I just made you fall apart into the little bitty bite-sized pieces that I want to eat. Because I bet you taste like stuffing and happiness. Ew, stuffing and happiness. That sounds wrong. Also, apparently we're going to a play of Romeo and... No, not that. Uh, another Shakespeare play called A Midsummer's Night Dream. Well, my whole class is. I unfortunately can't because I have jazz history that day. Then again, I actually like that class. In fact, the only time I would like to say it's a good thing that I have a college class would be if I'm taking like a big overnight trip and I'm like, I don't really want to go. I don't really want to be with you morons for more than 24 hours. Or mo wait, more than 6 hours a day. But I believe in March 13th we are going to New York to go to a college and see what that's all about. And we have to leave at 6.30 in the morning, which is considered bad by high school kids. But trust me, once you get into the real world and you have to take airport travels and stuff, you go at much earlier times than 6 in the morning. I heard some people even go, go to the airport at like 2 or get ready to go to the airport at 2. I don't know which. I just know it's something like that where you have to go to the airport and be at this time of day so that we can not miss the plane. I love how people in high school complain and complain and complain about stuff because it's funny. I mean, I don't even go to a regular high school. I go to the Met, which is the Metropolitan Regional Career and Technical Facility, and believe me, we have a lot more freedoms than other kids at a regular high school would have. We can actually go to colleges and we can actually... Even do simple stuff like go to Wendy's and get a get a hamburger with French fries. We can actually go to a store at the corner and go get food, get crappy junk food that we can eat. Well, of course we can't really eat upstairs, but you get the point. Ooh, boy. Still, it's pretty hilarious hearing people complain about stuff that you wouldn't really get in a regular high school. It's like, how great, how ungrateful can you teenagers be? Good lord. You don't even know how good you have it compared to other people. It's like, you're... It's like, oh god, I'm gonna have to quit this school because I don't want to take kneecaps all over again or something. It's like... In a regular school, you wouldn't even get help for kneecap. They'd be like, okay, you gotta take the kneecap, you're on your own, good luck. Pass the test so we can get our money's worth by from the from the government. We don't care if you... We just care if you pass the kneecaps. We just care if you pass the kneecaps. And they treat you really, really nice during the test, and then the rest of the year, they're like, oh, the rest of the year, they just yell at you. That's what a summarization of a regular high school is. I mean, in college, it gets better by a long shot. Because 
Humans are actually mature. That's when boys are actually mature. Well, not really mature and stuff, but they're less less immature, if that's a word. They're less immature, and you can actually have a decent conversation with them without them talking about basketball or rap or something. I mean, they will, but they won't talk about it as much. And plus, they're at that awkward stage where they're like, oh, they're only into rap, and they're only, they only like girls for their boob size or something. Because I know the only guys I, I tend to find that are actually could be decent people, they're usually, usually not into women. So that's always a lame, lame sacrifice for me. I'm so lonely. And then the only other guys that you find that they're actually sensible and have the same common stuff as you do is online. You, and you don't even meet them in real life. You just talk to them on Skype and stuff. I mean, it's nice, but it's like... The only time you can find nice people is online stuff and it's lame. Lame pants, lame. I also saw my friend who also goes to college on the way out when I was getting out of class to get on the bus to go back to regular high school. It's like... No, oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, I just got out of class. Of course, now the only bad thing is that she won't stop talking about it the next time I see her. Good lord. It's like one highlight, and then she never stops talking about it. And I pre I probably could just go through the soup right now, but I just wanted to get that tension out of the way about stuff that's pretty much going on in my life right now. And yeah, let's just throw Donkey Kong in the hoop. Do we get a bonus? I think I can't really upload another episode of Yoshi's Island DS either because I have to do some extra credit college work. And that's going to require a lot of intense concentration. But the good thing is, you got a very interesting level where I was like, what the hell's going on? So that's always fun to do. Yeah, let's see what my score is so far because I completely missed it. Look at me, I'm using a stylus. Okay, apparently I got 199 as the score, so that's good. I could be doing a lot worse. Alright. Okay, next time on Yoshi's Island DS, we will be going to the fir first fortress and face that giant fish with a giant mouth. See you next time in May the... F no, wait. This isn't Star Wars, you stupid me out. Um, may Team Rocket blast off again, and we shall take over the world. <laughs>